Hello, everybody. It is wonderful to see you today. Who remembers what we've been learning all month long? Who loves you? God loves me. Very good. God loves us. He made us specially. Let's sing our special song together. job. Who loves you? God loves me. Yes, he does. He loves you more than anything. And there's nobody in the world just like you. Let's sing and praise God with our next song. There's no, nobody else in the world like you. Everywhere I look, I can see. God, you make everything. Especially me
That was great singing, everybody. And that's right, God loves you and me just the way he made us, perfectly. Who loves you? God loves me, yes he does. He loves you so much that he sent Jesus to be your friend forever. Isn't that the best news? I think so. Well, you know I always love sharing our Bible story with you every week, but today I am really, really excited because it is an awesome one. It's actually one that Jesus told, so you know it's gonna be good. But before we get to that, let's go say hi to Ollie and our friends at the clubhouse. Oh, oh. You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Oh, well, hello there, friends. I'm Kai, and as you can see, I'm cleaning up. I should be selling lemonade in the best lemonade stand with the lemoniest lemonade around. But, as you can see, our lemonade stand is missing the most important thing, the lemonade. It all started a few minutes ago when Poppy and I were getting set up. Poppy, watch out! Ah! The good news is Poppy's okay. The bad news is she spilled all the lemonade on me! I feel kind of mad, a little sad, and a little bit frustrated. We've been working so hard! Now what are we supposed to do? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Kai. Who? Who? What's got you feeling so blue? Hi, Ollie. Poppy tripped and spilled all the lemonade on me. Now we don't have any lemonade. Kai, that is hard, it's true. I've got the perfect story for you. Just listen up, just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through, follow me through who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at this postcard a father is sending to his son. It's got a big heart and it says, I love you. Aw, isn't that sweet? It reminds me of a story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is actually a story that Jesus told so we would know that God loves us no matter what. It's about a father and a son. One day, the son asked his dad if he could have a lot of money that his dad was saving for him to have when he was much older. The dad gave him the money. The son took the money and went far away. He spent his money on everything. He bought clothes and toys and fancy food. He kept spending his money until it was all gone. Everyone say, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. All his money was gone, and he was all alone. He didn't have a house or money or food. In fact, at one point, he even wanted to eat pig's food. Ugh. The son knew he had made bad choices, and he was very sorry. He wanted to go back to his dad and tell him how sorry he was. He decided to go back home. When his dad saw him coming, his dad ran down the road to hug him. His dad forgave him. He loved him. Nothing could ever change that. And do you know what? God loves you the same way the father in the story loved his son. God will never, ever, ever stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. 
I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God loves you no matter what. So we can love each other too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. We are so special to God that he loves us no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! You know what? I can still love Poppy even though she spilled the lemonade. We can always make more. I'm gonna go check on her now. See you guys next time, goodbye! Wow, isn't that amazing? God loves you the same way the father in the story loved his son. And God will never, ever, ever stop loving you no matter what. Nothing can separate you from his love. Hey, you know what? That sounds a little familiar. Sounds like what our memory verse is trying to teach us this month. Why don't we go over it right now? Okay, are you ready? What do we do first? Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans what? Romans 8, 39, very, very good. Okay, you know what's next. Hand motions from me, hand motions and words from you. All right. Excellent work. Are you ready to do the whole thing yourself? I'm ready to see it, let's go. Perfect job. Great, great work, everybody. Well, that is the truth, friends. There isn't anything you could do to make God stop loving you. He loves you so much and you are so special to Him. Why don't we pray and thank God for loving us so much. Heavenly Father, thank you for the story of this son. And thank you for loving us no matter what, just like the son in the story. Even when he messed up, his father forgave him because he loved him. Thank you for loving us and forgiving us when we mess up. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Great job again, everybody. This was so much fun to be with you today. I can't wait to see you next week. Keep practicing your verses, and I'll see you then. Bye.